also uh, watch a video about natural selection as we get into more detail what natural selection evolution is. We're going to do a little hands-on activity with breeding naked rabbits. And then uh, you will be creating your own, your own animal and explaining its evolution as well. Yeah, all that gets picked up by those cameras, guys, so... No, I didn't say anything, I'm sorry. No, well, there was talking over here, okay. laughing and stuff. I apologize for saying It's okay. Sorry, you weren't All right, um, so, okay, first things first, I want you in your group of four that you're semi-positioned in, I want you to discuss for a second, what are the definitions for uh, hypothesis and science? Okay, <laughs> this don't pay me like that. Don't pay me like that. What's wrong with the camera? It's shaking on me. Like if I be still, it's going to start shaking all of a sudden. Please go ahead and send in to the back channel. Send in your definition for science. I was looking, bro. And your group definition for hypothesis. In your hypothesis. So send in your definition of science and your definition for hypothesis. <laughs> All on camera, I heard you. <laughs> This is all being recorded. I told you that, right? Yeah. You just scroll like three times in five seconds. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. You want me to quote yeah. you? It's okay. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. We'll, we'll give you that. You want me to quote you? I can quote you. See this one? You said kick my ass. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's okay. He didn't say the air word. He said he passed. He said he won't kick me fast. Alright, you guys agree with the definitions up there? What the hell? Uh, I heard that. Yeah, right okay, so we got hypothesis, a, a statement that can be tested. We have good job, Billy. We've got hypothesis, a testable, uh, statement that can be tested two many times. Okay, some of those are pretty good. Some of those are right on the money. Now, without talking to your neighbor, give me the definition of theory. Without talking to your neighbor, give me the definition of theory. That's alright. Just think quietly to yourself for a few minutes. I heard when I like schnitzel, but different. Yes, thank you for the explanation. Why would you want to get started for the You know, I show yesterday. Shh, I said without talking. Without talking, think about the definition of theory. Jacob, that means you too. Yes.
Send it up there. Send something up there. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Jamal, why don't you sit over here? Wait, why are you always move me? Because you're black. Hey, you're my favorite. No. That's right? No. No. That's true. I know, right? You can't play favorites. Jamal, over here. Hey, shut up. Do you want me to move the... Uh, do you want me to move the sandwich, Taylor? Oh, I'm going to move you, too. You guys got. It was? Yeah. I'm sorry. All right, a statement that has been tested by repeated observation, Mr. Scientist. All right, looks like we got to kick somebody out already. Is it me? No, wait, it can't be me because I'm freaking Guys, cool. don't make me turn this off in the middle of what could be a good thing. You Use well, your names. You might as well restart now. Who's Halgan? Now realize that the last <laughs> is All right. Prediction that can be tested. That's pretty good. There is a statement that can be tested. Shh. Focus. Um, so some of these are pretty good. Some of you looked them up, but uh, in general, those are great definitions. Okay. So yeah, actually, uh, Mr. Scientist, even though he's not using his real name, and I hope he does in the future, because if I find out who he is, I don't want to have to write him up. Um, a statement that has been tested by repeated observation. Obviously, he's missing a D there. But what does that mean, tested by repeated observation? That they they've done do tests over and over various different times. Say that again? That they've done tests various different times. Yeah, they've done the test over and over again. It's not just a random idea. What's something that you test frequently? Uh, You're gravity. testing it right now. Yeah, gravity. 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 All right. It's probably my wife. Yep, sure enough. Just like that. All right, so, so theory, hypothesis, and science are very important for understanding science. If you understand those definitions, you'll understand, have a lot better appreciation for what evolutionary theory is, what the Big Bang theory is, all that sort of stuff. Okay? All right. So now we're going to move on. And we're going to use those definitions, keep them in the back of our mind as we continue on to try and understand better what evolution is and how it works. There are four main parts to evolution in the, in the process of natural selection. So we're going to learn about that in a video we're going to watch here in just a second. But my next question for you is, what does it mean, talk to your group, what does survival of the fittest mean? So talk to your group and, and get a collective idea and put up there in our back channel what is survival of the fittest. You're looking at me. You're looking at me. Okay, but we're looking at each other. You guys are I had the answer. Okay, so send it up. Oh, share your ideas. You know what? I'm gonna break up out of the band. Breaking the band up. I'm on, I'm on my own route. I'm on, I'm on. I'm on the quickest spot. No, I'm not quickest. Remember, he said that you don't have to be faster. You have to be faster than your friend. If a bird chases you and you and your friend are running, you have to be faster than your friend. Miss Taylor? Miss Taylor, is it the strongest and quickest survive? That could be strongest, uh, quickest survive. To put that up. Yeah. Yeah. Put it up. See? No. no. I can't. Take the method and do my work. <laughs> All right. All right. So now we've got a bunch. 
Well, some coming in. Let's see if we can get some more up there. If you haven't sent something up yet, please do so. Okay, so the first one we have is only the fastest and smartest survive. Okay, only the strongest, quickest survive. Survival of the fittest means only the strongest can survive. Survival of the fittest means that it means that whoever adapts to the environment survives. Okay, good. Weakest won't survive. Okay. Typically, this is sadly this is this is a misconception. But we can't. It's not that wrong. simple. Um, oftentimes we think that it must be the strongest, the fastest, but that's not necessarily always the case. Remember the example we've talked about before. If um, well, sometimes it can be something like that. Like we gave the example once before of if there were, yeah, with the turtles. If there was a clutch of turtles, sea turtles, and one of them is really lazy, all the brothers and sisters get out and run away. Well, actually, it's going to be brothers or sisters. Usually, you don't have the same gender in the same, uh, or different genders in the same pod or clutch. But anyway, so when the brothers run away, the last one out might be the one that survives because all the brothers got eaten by the predators. The predators are full and they've left. Okay, so when the predators leave, the last one out may be the one that survives. So sometimes it's the laziest that could be. So, what's a better way to say the definition of survival of the fittest besides the strongest and fastest? Yeah. The species best suited to the environment mentally and physically are most likely to survive. So that's what you wrote. That's good. Okay. I mean, okay. even Let's the revise species and make it individual. Even the weakest man okay. can become strong. Oh, down here now. So the individual who's best suited for the environment. You don't have to be the strongest. You don't have to be the fastest. You don't have to be the slowest. You don't have to be the weakest. But you do have to be good enough. But we can make good enough for that environment. Okay? Good enough to make the cutoff. Like if they're making a team and you're the last one picked, does it matter? No. no you're on the team. But I'm cold. Put a jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you cold. <laughs> that was a pathetic joke. <laughs> All right. So what I want you to do now is pay attention. There are four main parts of natural selection. What's hey, Will, put your phone down. Um, there are four main parts of natural selection. I want you guys to pay attention to those. Get them down in your notes or up on the back channel and see if we can, uh, we'll talk about this as we go. How does evolution really work? The primary way that evolution occurs is through the action of natural selection. That is, populations change in response to environmental pressures, and they become adapted to new conditions, and they change over time. Following Charles Darwin's lead, biologist Chris Schneider and his colleagues traveled to Ecuador to study the evolution of several animal species. This lush rainforest is a natural laboratory for ongoing investigation of evolutionary theory. Natural selection is at the core of their research on hummingbirds. In our research, we're trying to understand how new species arise. This is Darwin's fundamental question. On the origin of species, how do new species arise? And what we're finding is that natural selection seems to be an incredibly important factor in generating new species. Natural selection, the key evolutionary mechanism Darwin identified, is really four processes. Genetic variation, overproduction of offspring, struggle for existence, and differential survival and reproduction. First, genetic variation. Individuals within a species vary from one to the other. For evolution to work by natural selection, the characteristics that give an individual an advantage in a certain environment have to be passed on from one generation to the next. And in hummingbirds, no length seems. Okay, how do you know genetic variation works? Is he mixed? Like, do I look like Tony Doe? Uh, Just Tony Doe look like interruption, they are dismissing the juniors to return back to class. Does Tony Doe look like Kelly? No. Yeah. Kind Why? Your shoe is Asian. Genetic variation. <laughs> Why do you not look exactly like your siblings? Because genetic variation. Genetic variation. You look similar, but you don't look exactly right. Is your twin or shorter? Is your twin? Have a very strong genetic basis. That is, if two parents mate, and both of those parents have long bills, their offspring will have long bills. 
If those parents have shorter bills, their offspring will have shorter bills. Okay, so genetic variation should be up there, guys. Second, there is overproduction of offspring. Darwin realized that natural selection would operate because individuals uh, in natural populations tend to produce more offspring than can survive. For example, hummingbirds over their lifetime will often produce dozens of offspring, but only one or two of those individuals are likely to survive. The third factor in natural selection is the struggle for existence, and that leads to differential survival and reproduction. In any population, whether it's plants or animals or whatever, this excess production of individuals results in this, in what Darwin called the struggle for existence. And what he had in mind there, I think, was the competition for food and space uh, and mates as well. Hummingbirds compete for nectar. They often compete very fiercely for limited resources, natural selection, will favor individuals that, that are more efficient in getting nectar. Natural selection will result in changes in wing shape that allow hummingbirds to fly uh, longer distances, for instance, or maybe to be more maneuverable, uh, to maneuver around flowers and get nectar more efficiently. And probably most importantly, it will affect the length and shape of the bill. Bill measurements. In the case of hummingbirds, we know that um, a one or two millimeter change in length can have profound differences on how efficiently that bird feeds and how well it survives. Individual survivors are more likely to reproduce and pass on their advantageous as well as other genes to their offspring. In an environment with long flowers, having a long bill is an advantageous trait not necessarily the absolute best trait always, just a better one in this environment. Hummingbirds with small bills may not survive, and eventually there will only be hummingbirds with long bills. Over a long period of time, the entire population of hummingbirds adapts to the shape and size of the flowers that exist in that environment. If you're in the woods and you're walking with another person and you come on a bear and the bear chases you, you don't have to be faster than the bear. You only have to be faster than the other person because the bear eats them and you get away. The species cannot develop the adaptations that benefit them in their lifetimes. Just as you cannot make your arm longer to reach a book on a shelf up high. Why can't you make your arm longer to reach a book? Because you'd have to change your genes. Can you change your genes? No. No. Once you got them, you got them. That's it. Yeah. No, you can take them off. I mean, <laughs> individual small-billed hummingbirds that move into an area where there are longer flowers can't make their bills longer. Their bill length is determined by the DNA they inherited from their parents. Schneider uses hummingbird DNA sequences to reconstruct their evolutionary history as it has been shaped by natural selection. Genetic variation overproduction of offspring, struggle for existence, and differential survival and re So you got all those? One second. Those are the main four points of natural selection. They early explain genetic variation to me. Uh, like, um, it's like, um, like organisms that, like, um, they have, like, different than from the other. Yeah, all the genes are the genes are different, right? So you yeah. can look at least a little bit different. Okay. What about overproduction of offspring? Uh, let's see. Let's go with uh, Kelly. Can you tell me about overproduction of offspring? Isn't it when, um, like, they, for example, hummingbirds they can have a dozen, but only one or two survive? Yeah, only a couple survive. Okay. Back in the olden days, that's how it was for humans too. You know, a mom might have four or five kids, but only two or three survive because they didn't have the medical facilities to help them survive longer back then. Now we can keep almost anything alive. I survive. Okay, or any one, I should say. I struggle for existence, what does that mean, Harley? Huh? What does struggle for existence mean? You lost me. What does it mean to struggle for existence? It's hard to survive. Fight for your existence. What? I don't know. Like, Wait. fight for your existence. Fight for existence, okay, that's one way to say it. Isn't it when, if you have, like, flowers that are long, then the short 
beaks can't survive, but then the ones that have longer beaks can. Yeah, the, the struggle for existence of differential survival and reproduction means that different organisms are going to be able to survive in different ways based on the traits that they have or the genes that they have. Okay? Good. All right, so that's the gist of that one right there. So what I want you guys to do then is review the four points of natural selection with your buddies at your, in your four, group of four, and then I'm going to do a verbal quiz on you, okay? What are the four points, four points of natural selection? General methods and old production of offspring, special flavors, different than my water. Differential survival and reproduction? Yeah, the struggle for existence and differential survival, those work together. Uh, struggle for existence just means you got to compete with your neighbor for, for food. Like if you guys remember watching The Walking Dead, what happens? I'll probably shoot killing my neighbor. Okay, well, shh, let's not. Uh, Kelly asked a good question. She said, you know, what's, or didn't we talk about this one? And, and we did, but they kind of work together. Struggle for existence. Remember, if, you, if you've watched The Walking Dead, uh, Woodbury wants to kill the people at the prison, right? Yes. Why? I don't know. Because they, they're a danger to their They're eating their food. Because supplies are low. Also, the leader of Woodbury is an idiot, but supplies are low. True, true. So they want to get rid of the competition so they can have more food for themselves. So is it like Walking the Dead game is the best what? game of the time. Kind of. Very similar. All right, good. You guys ready? All right. I already did. Alright. I already did. We're not trapped. Yes, sir. Alright. Call a name. So if I don't call your name, your name could be called next. So I suggest you pay attention. Ken. Uh, Alright, here we go. Jacob, what is one point of natural selection? Um, genetic variation. Genetic variation. What does genetic variation mean, Jacob? It's the variation Karen. of the genetics. That's right, which means... <laughs> which means that there are different genetics. Right, which means... <laughs> which means that the genetics vary in differences. Okay, can we help them out? <laughs> Everybody's got a little bit different genes, right? We all have a little bit different, so we have different outcomes. We look different. I don't look the same as Irma, partly because we're different genders and lots of other reasons, too. Jordan, look like his sister. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. All right, shh, next one. Uh, Horge isn't here. So, Abby, what's another example from natural selection? Another point. Struggle for existence. Struggle for existence. What does that mean? It's like when they're trying to, like, um, they're fighting for who? For, um, to live. To live? So for food? Or for territory? Or for mates? Uh, someone to reproduce with? Or something? Or whatever? Claudia, can you name another one? We've got struggle for existence. We've got genetic variation. What's another one? Hey. Remember? No? Yes, no? Your response. You wrote, I saw you write it down. You were putting it up there. Do you remember what it was? Okay. All right. That's all right. Harley? Nope. <laughs> Something about offspring? Uh, no? No. Yuli? Oh, she's asleep. Tried waking her up like five offspring. times. Laquan, Laquan. 
I'm sorry, you're not in the mood today, are you? Different let me Let me ask again. Laquan. <laughs> Different offspring. What is one of the points of uh, um, natural selection? Uh, I was going to say... Shh. Well, survival of the fittest. Okay, that is part of it. Everybody say overproduction of offspring. Overproduction of offspring. What does that mean? It means you're too fat. It means more babies. It could mean that more babies are produced, right, Jamal, than can survive. That's overproduction of offspring. Okay, so we'll work on that some more. Um, Check something. <laughs> Cameraman. Okay. Right now we're gonna go back to the uh, table, and I'm gonna do a little. We're gonna do a little activity with the breeding with breeding naked rabbits. Okay. So go ahead and come on back here. Go ahead and get a group of three or four with you. Things are gonna get easier. Oh, child, things are getting brighter. Look, that's the song. <laughs> These are getting better. Ooh. Guys, come on, let's go. We got 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, here. Hi. I don't know what happened to my countdown, but. All right, now, really? It's looking at it. That doesn't make sense. It does. That kind of defeats the purpose of two cameras. All right. Two were involved in that little order. Hey, no touchy. All right, we got to review some genetics here for a second. So I need all eyes down here. Um, so we've got some genes. We're looking at the genotype here. Uh, if you remember, what is the genotype? If I'm talking about genotype, what do I see? The letters. The letters. Okay, so for this demonstration, for this activity, for this activity, the black fuzzy is going to represent big F allele, otherwise known as furry. So these are going to be rabbits that have fur. Yuli feels tall. She, she does. Oh, he's, like, uh, he's making fun of you. Be nice to you. Be nice to you. Okay. All right. So the little, or the, excuse me, the red fuzzy represents little F allele or nakedness. So a rabbit that has no fur. Naked. All right. So tell me what the genotype would be. If I had two blacks, what would the genotype be? Big Fur. Oh, big F, big F. Big F, big F, okay. A uh, black and a red? Big, big F, F, good. Good, a uh, uh, red and red? Little F, little F. Good, so that's the genotypes. Now, what's the phenotype for this one? Fur. Furry. 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 Naked. 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 And naked. Okay, now, the problem that we have is that because the environment has been changing, it's been getting colder in this area, the naked rabbits don't survive, so they die. So what you're going to do is you're going to have uh, 11, 11 blacks and 11 reds for the different alleles. And Hi. You're going to you're going to randomly put them together and pull two out and see what their ge genotype is going to be. What's the genotype of that one? Furry. F. Big F. The genotype is big F little F. The phenotype is furry. Furry. What about this one? Little F little F. Genotype? Naked. Naked. Uh, genotype? Fur. Big F. Oh, oh. Good, I'm cheating because I'm looking. Genotype? Big F, big F. Big F, big F, or? Furry. Furry. Okay, and then right here? Don't touch it. Little F, little F. Little F, Okay, so let's say, shh, Diego, Billy. Let's say that this is one generation. Okay, so these are all brothers and sisters. Who survives? The fur. The ones with fur. Okay, so these are the ones with fur, so these are eliminated. So those genes are out of the gene pool. Will these ones be furrier than these ones? 
No, no, it's all the same. If it's complete dominance, it's all the same, right? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. If it was incomplete dominance, what would it be? That one would be half furry or something like that. Well, it, like you said, this one would be more furry. Or it have a bald spot. Oh. Maybe okay. some bald spots, maybe thinner fur. Okay? Good. All right, so then what you're going to do is put these all back together and mix it up again and pull out separate. Okay, and you got the same result. So what I want you to do is continue to do that until all the naked bunnies or the naked bunny genes are gone. Okay? And we're going to see how many generations it takes, and we'll compare. So everybody, all the groups of three or four get 11 red fuzzies and 11 black fuzzies. Yeah, it keeps doing that. No. Does it say the Magos are Russian? Uh, yeah, when the bell rings. I am going to get that one. Can you stop, Jacob? It's like the fourth time I've asked you to stop doing this one. Or noises. AKA, shut them up. I don't need your help, Kevin. I got it. All right. Right there. Stop. I'm trying to get him in trouble. Guys, where's your groups? Where's your fuzzies? I've been dead for a year. No. Come on, get your groups. Get your groups. How many? Get one. Make one. Make one. You need one by yourself and you got it. I need to get some. Oh, I'm recording. That's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> what, what, record her? I, remember, I have to record everybody, including you. Alright, guys, get to mixing. Let's uh, see how. 11 each. 11 red, 11 black. Stop! You should be, you should be with a group so you don't. Otherwise, you're going to run out of buzzies. Where are we supposed to choose those directions? Because they are like that. Bands make her so these are how they make her these are how they that's my generation. Yeah. TDE. Top Entertainment. Pro Aliens. Up to you now. Still Pokemon Red. This one just died. Okay. So make sure not to turn that one off. All right. Try to get the action of what they're doing, okay? Oh, he just trashed you. Ready? Ready? Oh, trust me. I know y'all in a relationship. I love you. I'm still here. I know Jamal is in a relationship right now. <laughs> Whoa! Second Don't do that. You feel me though, bro? You see how she did with the, uh, this corner? I mean, when he walked in, yeah. no, I just turned up for that man. I know. Let, let me have not been here for a good two weeks. She came still back. got the same ass mood. Yeah. yeah. No, I miss him. Me and my friend miss him. We haven't seen him in a while. So we just said, see, oh, it's my God. It's okay, but you yeah, have to only my friend. I walked in. I'm just going to keep doing it. Let me have to walk in. From being gone Tomorrow so long. In a relationship she would have had, had, had that smirk or that. <laughs> that's that smirk you would have had. Too. She was just mugged. She wouldn't have jumped on me. Jump me. She would have been always mugged me. Oh, where you been at? He's my favorite nigga. You just play now. You barely know that. You just know. You just mean to me. So. Jamal, it's you a reason. Tell her that you like it. It's a reason. You never been nice. You have never been nice to me. What's going on over here? Okay, what you guys doing? What's happened? Can I put you on Insta focus? <laughs> put you on Insta focus? Don't do that. That was corny. I'm the king of corny. Stop breaking up or not? Jamal? Uh, uh, hey, that's not how it works, man. That's that's one individual. That's not two individuals. Okay, so you mix them up without looking. You pull out two, and you see what you get. All right. Okay. So don't look. You have to write yeah, it down don't, or don't look. No, you don't have to write it down. Put it in the cup. You put it in the cup. No, ignore the cup. Don't look. Okay, so don't look when you're pulling the fuzzies out. What do you got? 
Well, two, put it down. Okay, what does he got? You can look once you pull it out. What's he got? Um, big, oh, that's furry. Furry, big F, big F, right? Okay, that's keep going, you gotta keep, you gotta keep get them all paired up. Keep get going. them all paired up. Little ass, little ass. Oh my god, thank you. And you keep going until they're gone. I need to know how many generations it is. One, two, Can you pick something? Oh my gosh. I just did. I just picked Blessed the Fifth generation. I'm tired of these matches. It took five generations. Do you have any red fuzzies left? Um, I don't going. know what that would be. That would be furry. Okay, just make it quick. Just grab down, pull two more without looking. Just keep going. Don't even look. Okay. Keep them you got to help keep them separated. <laughs> hey. Oh, what? That was not me. You said it was me. Hey, Diego, put your games away. You should it's be doing the assignment. I don't care. Put your game away. Do the assignment. All right, guys, so what do you got here? Sad, that's a go. Sir. <laughs> you want to tell what we got? Okay, so he's lining them up according to their genotype. Yeah. All right, how many furred rabbits do you have represented there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, that's right. And what's special about these ones right here? What you mean? Well, they're furry, right? But what do they have? They have red, but... They, they've got the recessive allele, right? Yeah, so black takes over. That's right. So black's dominant, or furriness is dominant. So these are all furry, seven furries. Mm -hmm. So what happens with these guys? They just name Huh? <laughs> they die, that's right. Oh, they die? They die. They don't I didn't know. They don't make it to the next generation. Oh, okay? they because no they ain't got they no did. fur. They did. No they don't get to mate and reproduce, so then you start over. So it's start like over. No, oh, I've got to go next. No, just with these ones. <laughs> the battery died on that one. Okay, everybody. Bye. Well, not yet. Never mind. Keep going. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm trying to mix it Where up. Where the red ones? No, no, the, rex, the red ones are gone now. I want to say the red ones are gone. Those alleles are gone. I got to start over. Right. I'm going to put that right there. You better cut it off this time before it just shut off and then all your stuff you can eat it. Right. No, we'll start get over. Just stop recording. I put three on there by accident. Come on now. Hush. Now, what is that? <laughs> you tell me. What is you that? You tell me. I already know what it is. Pear. Pear of what? Oh, rabbit. That's one rabbit. No, that's a <laughs> one. That's one rabbit. That's a pair of wheels. What? That's one fuzz rabbit. No. Furry. Fuzz rabbit. That's a fuzz rabbit. All right, what you guys got? That's, um, that's naked, right? No, no. This is, it's all furry. furry. It's all furry, right? Yeah. All right, so that generation survives. Yep. Go again. Yes. You go I'm next. Doing it. I'm you got to go until all the red's gone. Naked. Quit playing with my fuzzies. Do it. I'm making it up. And he's still all right, so what happened here? You had only one naked rabbit, and that, so that one's eliminated. Okay, but you can kind of see what's happening here. That's been four generations, right? Yeah, eventually, these are all going to most likely get wiped out. It may take a while, though, right? Okay, all right, good deal. All right, everybody back to your seats. Please bring the fuzzies back over here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> All right. So uh, what I want to know is. How does the world spin? What? All right, I want you to send up one representative from each group to write the generations it took, how many of them to be eliminated. I don't remember. Six. 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 Six
need you to do now is get out a sheet of paper. You're going to design your own animal. Yeah. All right. But you have to explain how it is evolved. Wait. Okay? So, shh, quietly while you're getting out paper, I'm going to talk about this. Martin, what should you be doing? Getting out paper. Everybody get out a sheet of paper. Okay? No deal. No deal. No deal. <laughs> hey, listen up, please. Get in a different scene. Quan, can you do it, please? Quan. Three, two, one, zero. Oh, never mind. Mr. If we need to stay, it's okay. If we need to stay 30 seconds after, we can. No. And let's be quiet so we can get through this. We have three minutes. Good. All right. So, shh, while you're getting out paper, notice that there were three groups that had four generations. There were two groups that had five generations. We had six. One of the classes I had. <laughs> Jacob, sit down. Jacob. Bro, get out my face. Jacob. <laughs> Jacob, sit down. Hey, Tyra, come on. Jacob, go ahead and grab a stool back there and stay there. Okay? <laughs> Jacob, grab a stool and stay back there. Jacob. Jacob. I know. Jacob. Jacob Weaver, find a stool and stay there. I told you, no one leaves till we get it back. Oh, come on. Hey, Jacob. Hey, you want to take my I know, Jacob. Guys, we're not finding it now. I want Jacob in a seat. I want the rest of you to listen. Yes, sir. No, I didn't ask for comments. I didn't ask for comments. Quiet. The point is, we're getting different results here. So, uh. Kevin said his group had six. When I did this in another class, we had two generations all the way up to nine. There's a lot of variation. A lot of it's random about how it's going to turn out. Okay? So what I want you to do is... Kevin, can you keep it over here, please? Yeah, sorry. Um, what I want you to do now is make up your own animal and explain how it evolved that way. What happened to the rabbits? Well, which ones died? The ones, the naked so ones. So only the ones with the genes that didn't help it with that environment died, right? The naked ones. So what happened to the other rabbits? They survived. Okay, so make up an animal and explain how the environment pressured the changes of that organism. Okay? Yeah. Uh, here. If you want, if you want, you can use an animal you already know about and explain 
explain how it changed or how it got to the way it is. Okay, what what animals you guys got? We, I don't get it. You can use an animal you already know. You want, that might be easier for you. But I don't get where like generations. Don't worry about the generations. Th think uh, think of any animal you know. What's what's your favorite animal that's not a dog <laughs> or a horse? Elephant. Okay. What would cause an elephant to get so big or develop that trunk? Yeah, why why would it have such a long trunk? What would be the advantages? Okay, to drink water. If you look at other animals, what do other animals have that an elephant does not have that helps them to drink water? Think about another animal that drinks water. What does it have that an elephant doesn't have? Like a cheetah has speed. Okay, cheetah, think about a deer. What does a deer have that an elephant doesn't? A neck. Okay. Have you noticed that every grass eating animal, their neck is as long as it needs to be to get their head to the ground? Does an elephant have that? No, so he's got a trunk to help get his, his water that he needs, right? And the food. Okay, so draw us an elephant then. 